Hey Dick, this is Tony Danesky. I'm at a soccer field that I've been to a few times. I've got uh, some gold here and uh, a couple of cool relics. And today I got a nice little 1963 Roosevelt. Looks like I dinged it, or maybe it was dinged like that before, because I don't think I hit it like that. But yeah, he's got a nice little uh, piece of his face missing right there, his uh, cheek or something, or uh, jaw. Oh, it's a 62 or 63D. 63D, yeah. Awesome find. It was only going down about uh, three inches. This is the third target that I dug. I dug a quarter before this and uh, a penny. So, yeah, very hopeful for more stuff today. I'll see you at the next hole. Have a great day. Bye. Nineteen sixty three D Roosevelt Silver Dime. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey Dig, it's Tony Dayski. We're still at that field. We've been messing around on the outskirts of the field and I just got another set of those uh slippers. These are two of them though. So I got one that one place. Now I got two. So Another pendant, but yeah, you can see there's the feet of it and all that. It's pretty cool, it's going down about three inches. I thought it was bling until I started cleaning it off and actually saw that it was actually slippers, but pretty cool. I guess I'll see you at the next. Have a great day. Bye. Right here, I got the best find so far today. It was going down seven inches, and it's awesome detail on there. It's a, uh, let's see, Regina Elizabeth II. A British half penny from 1954. I mean, there's a little boat on there. It's awesome detail, I'll say that, for uh, sitting in the earth for how many years it was here. So we've been just, we just got here. So hopefully we'll find more stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you at the next. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. A 1954 British half penny with a ship, the Golden Hine, on it. The Golden Hind was a galleon, captained by Francis Drake in his circumnavigation of the world between 1577 and 1580. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey diggers, we're still in that same area where I just got that uh, half penny. It was probably like five steps away over here around here. And I just came over here and I got a really awesome find. Uh, first silver of the day. A 1957 uh, Roosevelt uh, silver dime. It's not a, a D mint or anything like that or any other mints. But yeah, awesome find. We've been here probably about 20 minutes, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Greg got a set of lips on a little uh, keychain and uh, he's been testing out his HF coil. So yeah, it's been hitting a whole bunch of clad and um, it, it, it does what adver what's advertised. Catches all small stuff. Sweet. So yeah, I guess we'll see you at the next because this was going down about uh, four inches, and uh, yeah, it was underneath this giant root here. So I guess uh, yeah, I'll see you at the next hole and uh, have a great day. Bye. Hey diggers, we're back. We're probably like not even like steps away from where we just found that silver dime and that half penny. And right here, we got an awesome find right here. It's right along the grass line. We're, go we're going into the woods. It's uh, some ring that looks like it has some sort of a, uh, maybe a cross on there or something. We're trying yeah, to figure it out. Going all the way around the same style of cross. So yeah, we're just gonna pop it here on there and see if there's any uh, markings inside this thing. because. We're not actually sure if this is silver or if it's just plated. Yeah. So yeah, let's see. Uh, at least uh, passing it over the HF coil, uh, it rang in a solid 81. It's plated, you could uh, see, I think that would be kind of wearing down there on the on the ridge. I see a number 10 inside there, uh, right, where would it be, right there. Kind of where the sun is it hitting there, yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's right there where my index finger is, number 10. Okay, you're getting it. 
So yeah, I think it's it's definitely plated. It's got some sort of yeah, I guess iron cross or whatever cross. Pretty cool though. I mean, we're digging every signal over here and uh, trying to sift through the bottle caps and the uh, pull tabs. But yeah, great find. We've been here probably a half hour now. So I guess we'll see you at the next and have a great day. Bye. Sweet. a strip of uh, goodies this morning. Now, it was my turn to find something interesting, and uh, just right up the uh, uh, root line, or the um, uh, weed line here, the border, uh, almost 10 inches down, it was my turn to find a ring today. Um, we looked at it, uh, we saw that it's a, it's a junk ring. It would have been nice if it was silver. It's a very interesting design, and the interesting thing is about Maybe five foot, five feet behind me, I also found a spoon, an intact spoon. It's a stainless steel spoon. But yeah, I mean, this, this has been um, producing. I don't think I have that upside down. I got, I got it's backwards, it's yeah. upside down, but. There you go, did it that way then. World of Stainless, I think it says? Yeah, World Stainless, and it has a maker's mark in there. Uh, I think it's J-A-I-O-M. But we'll take a closer look at it, and uh, you, uh, probably watching the video, you probably can see it. But yeah, uh, we're having a lot, a lot of success today, and um, this is my first day with uh, my uh, HF coil that I'm trying out, and it's hitting on everything. I got uh, maybe uh, out of all my targets I've dug so far, it's mostly been clad, but two pieces of junk, and everything else has been uh, rigging up uh, with really good signals. So uh, we'll let you know what we find uh, at the next hole. So see you then. Hey diggers, it's Tony Tedeschi. Me and Greg were at the same location that we were at last week and a couple weeks before and stuff. We've been here five minutes and we just got this nice Australian 20 cent piece. I thought it was something else because it was so big. It was ringing up a 73. I can't tell if that's some sort of uh, like platypus. Yeah, it's a platypus. You can see it's, its beak right there. It's fins and stuff like that. But great find. I mean, we were we, when we just got here, I think it's 1970. Yeah, 1970. 20 cent piece the Queen Elizabeth on there awesome find it was going down about uh four inches I'd say and uh yeah just uh we just got here so we'll hopefully we'll find more stuff and I'll see you at the next have a great day bye a 1970 Australian 20 cent coin have a great day we're still at that field we were at last week they put a little addition over there that little uh i guess it's called an octo pit we found that uh australian 20 cent right in there and then we came around here we're pretty much just going back and forth i came over here i got a really nice find if you want to come take a look i've never found one of these before it was going down three inches it's a crushed penny it looks like the older crushed pennies because it's not like wide the way they used to be it's zinc though still and it says the snoopy rock uh, Sedona? Yep, Sedona. Arizona. It's, uh, yeah, I guess it's some sort of, uh, a rock in the United States somewhere in Arizona. Yep. I've never even heard of it, though. But mm -hmm. I have actually found the Snoopy watch on the same, actually, on the pass, like, on the corner right over here, so. Great find, and, uh, it was, uh, yeah, three inches, and we'll see you at the next hole, I guess. Uh, have a great day. Bye. Crushed Penny with the landmark Snoopy Rock, Sedona, Arizona. Have a great day. Okay, I'll just come along the uh, line over here. I got some good things here. Came upon this, interesting find. Looks like it's uh, some sort of a religious pendant. Looks like silver. But yeah, there's Jesus. 
and uh, yeah, great find. I mean, I don't really see any uh, markings on this one. I've got to look really close though, because it's really awesome. Uh, looks old to me, but yeah, there you go. Sorry about the uh, focusing. Yeah, I could pretty much say this is definitely silver. There's no corrosion going on or anything. But, yeah. Just been swinging around here. It is so hot out that, uh, yeah, I'm just probably going to pack up soon because this is uh, the only thing I found besides, uh, I think, that little token and a couple of buttons and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's been very uh, sparse out here. Just very hot. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you at the next. Have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.